Good afternoon, Russell students and staff. My name is Lexi. And my name is Reagan. And you are inside the nest. The Middle School Student Council collection for Shea Hyde's family is finished. We want to thank everyone for their generosity. We collected around $12,000. We will report an exact number tomorrow. This school community has the best heart. Thank you. This Friday, the 28th, will be Hats On for Hornets. To wear a hat, bring a dollar, and get a hand stamp at the door. Proceeds go to junior class for prom. Do not forget a dollar and support the prom as well as the basketball teams. Game night for all middle school students is Friday after school until 5 o'clock. Ward has it that Mr. Ritter plans to bring his favorite game and Mr. Thompson wants to play Euchre. Mr. Newhauser is letting us use his karaoke machine also. What games are you going to bring? It is $2 to stay and play. We will have free chips and cookies. Drinks are 50 cents. Senior night for band members on Friday the 28th between the JV and varsity game. High school volleyball call out will occur during homeroom on Tuesday, February 1st in the Commons area. Any student in grades 8 through 11 currently who plan to play volleyball next year should plan to attend. If you are unavailable to attend but wish to play volleyball, please let a fellow player or coach Kathy know so a schedule and information can be given to you. Players will receive a spring schedule, team camp information, little kid camp dates, and other information. Update your FFA point sheet. Go to the Rossville FFA website, make a copy of the point sheet in your Google account, and update the events you have participated in. Do you qualify for the FFA ski trip? We're going to Perfect North Slopes on February 12th for our annual ski trip. Write your name on the list in Miss Needs Room if you have completed enough of the required events. Attention Rossville Middle High School. Here inside the nest, we'd like to help spread some love and positivity. You can help. Here's how. Over the next few weeks, someone from inside the nest will be set up at a table in the lunchroom. We'll be selling spread the love messages where you can write a note to someone and tell them how much you appreciate them. You could even use this to secretly tell your crush how you feel. We'll be reading these messages on the air. Keep it clean and positive. For one dollar, you can buy a message. The person you admire once they hear it on the air can also pay a dollar and find out who wrote it. If you'd like to keep it a secret, you can pay two dollars and remain totally anonymous. Help us spread the love here at Rossville. If you have any questions, please chat with anyone from the inside the nest at the lunch table. The Rossville Junior Varsity Girls basketball team was victorious over the Bethesda Christians on Tuesday evening with a final score of 15-9 to in a wild half of a basketball game. Scoring for the Hornets were Chloe Darnell with five, Braylon Good and Avery Layton with three, Abby Miller and Michaela Spray with two apiece. The Lady Hornets JV is back in action for their final home game of the season against Covington on Thursday. The varsity girls team also defeated Bethesda last night, 46 to 39. Michelle Rodkey scored 19 points and pulled down nine rebounds. Avery Gorbett scored 16 points and had three rebounds, and Tori Skiles scored eight points. Karen Gahabe had eight rebounds, and Courtney Huffman played a solid game at point guard and on defense. Good job, ladies. The girls play Covington on Thursday night in their last home game of the season. Come out and support your Lady Hornets. The Rossville 7th and 8th grade team won a combined game against Wayne Wright, 35-25. Ava Burkle led the Hornets with 14, Ali Elliott scored 9, Addie Gorbett with 6, and Cadence Roby with 6. The Hornets are 1-0 and play at Frankfurt tonight. This is tonight, Wednesday night. Now to Jonathan with today's weather. <coughs> today's weather. It's really cold outside. It's a high of 17 of negative and a low of negative 5 with a wind speed of 5 miles per hour to 0% chance of snow. Why are we out here? No reason. Very, very dumb of us in all honesty. We're going to head back inside and drink some hot chocolate. So back to you guys on Inside the Nest. Yikes, let's get back inside. Thank you, Jonathan. Now to Natalia with today's lunch. Today's lunch. Today we're going to have a pepperoni calzone or a bacon cheeseburger. We're also going to have green beans, cherry tomatoes, peaches, and a fruit slushy, which is ironic because I think the slushy is warmer than the temperature. Um, tomorrow's lunch, however, is popcorn chicken or a breaded chicken sandwich. We're also going to have cauliflower blend. We're also going to have carrots and celery. We're also going to have applesauce. And then a nice cookie to top that all off. At least the food's warm, better than say what it is outside. Poor Jonathan. Poor, poor Jonathan. He's a popsicle. Back to you guys, Inside the Nest. 
Yummy. Thank you, Natalia. Any student in grades 8 through 11 currently who plan to vape... <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was, like, holding it in so... Okay, go. <coughs> We forgot it was a two-hour delay schedule. Yeah, we did. Okay, keep going. You guys can go ahead and read. I've been Lexi. And I've been Regan. And you've been Inside the Nest.